It's some wild debates happening in education right now. Listen, there's this debate raging uh, in education space about whether or not critical race theory or CRT should be used in school. You probably know none of the players or haven't heard much about it. Uh, and that's OK. Probably not the thing that you like looking for in your daily life. But if you want to hear more about that and get the details and all of the political you know, minutia. I'm a part of this great podcast called The Eight Black Hands. And all three of my co-hosts have wrote just various articles on it. And I think each of those are amazing. I will link uh, all three of those articles in the description. Okay, I got you. I'm going to talk to you more about what you can do regardless of where this debate goes, because the truth is we live in a really racist society and I'm a pusher and lover of improving policy, but I also believe in giving you the tools you need to be successful, AKA, I call these the bear killing type of tools. And you have to watch the cartoon that I made to get that reference, okay? And I'll link that as well. But first off, there's a ton, a ton of reading you can do on CRT. Let me just give you a very simple synopsis of it. And before, I know it's going to be some people, that ain't it. It's more stuff. Say this, say that, whatever. Fine. But us, I'm just, as I'm talking in my own barbershop where I know this ain't the conversation, here's how I would explain. It's the notion that racism is everywhere and it's permeated everything. And it originated in the legal field. And it has now, you know, been applied to academics and education. It is saying that, you know, this is the reason why black kids are learning that Christopher Columbus discovered America. Very racist notion that's in there. Now, opponents will say, look, we should keep race issues out of schools. Um, Y'all are favoring storytelling over actual facts. Um, you are taking very young children and exposing them to ideologies uh, way too young, okay? There's this debate happening and people are arguing on the interwebs and it's a whole thing. It's like made its way to the White House and on CNN and stuff, it's crazy. I work with my people in my community that I care about and regardless of where this thing lands, racism ain't gonna be over tomorrow and even if we do get CRT, it's still got to be people that's delivering that stuff. So I'm going to give you just four things, four tools that can help you. All right. Number one, talk to your kids. Let me tell you what I mean when I say talk to your kids. Charles, I already talked to my kids. I talk to my kids too much. I feel you. I understand what you're saying. What I mean is ask them what they're learning, how they felt at school or, or tell me more about that lesson that this person was talking about. And you will learn a lot. And if you hear some wild stuff, then push on that school, push on policy. I am never going to go against policy change, all right? I just know that <laughs> whenever there is a policy change, even when it's supposed to help us, there are unintended consequences that always hurt us. See Brown versus Board. So that's number one. Number two is be ready with a counter narrative. It's easier for these people to get away with teaching you things that are not true about history when we don't know our own. And I'm saying this to you as a doctor, as a scholar, as somebody who does a ton of reading, who is still learning a lot about my own culture. There are YouTube videos. There's a ton of smart people that wrote in a, written a bunch of books. You can watch these things together with your children. Uh, but make sure that you are teaching your kids their own history. And it's OK. Even if you don't know, we can all learn together. Because if you build your kids up enough, when they hear some stuff that don't jive with what you're talking about, then they will push back. It's a very natural occurrence that, that will happen. Number three, set goals for your family and for your kids and then focus on those things because the internet has a new beef, a new hot topic, a new issue that's supposed to be life-changing for you every single day, every week. I'm not saying this isn't important, but what I'm saying is you have to be focused on what you can focus on. If everything catches your attention, we won't get anything done. I wrote an article a long time ago in the Huffington Post called What's Your Issue? And I will link that as well. Hopefully they still got it up. Uh, Huff Post is going through a lot of changes. And I don't know. They might have got rid of it. But we will find out. If it ain't in the description, then 
They canceled my black ass on. Number four I might feel like I said this before, but I'm gonna be very explicit. You gotta coach your kids to question dumb stuff. And I wanted to curse, but YouTube don't like when I curse. But you gotta coach your kids to be critical thinkers. When something don't sound right, you gotta teach them to question it. Tell them to write these things down so they can bring it home. Tell them to write down their questions so they don't get flustered when they stand up to this teacher or whatever the case is, okay? Anything that just sounds weird, to write it down and journal it and like really process it. You can do this with kindergartners. You can do this with college students. This is a practice that can grow with you and be with you kind of in the perpetuity. So let's just recap. Huge, huge debate. Um, and you can always watch A Black Hands. It's every Sunday, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9, no. Yes, that is wrong. No, 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 that's right, that's right. Every Sunday, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, where we kind of take these complicated educational issues and tools and, and talks, and we break them down. I work with some brilliant people who, have, who do deal in the politics of it, who do talk a lot about policy and go into you know battle with some of these like bigger names that might be asserting that this is not really important. You should definitely check them out, regardless of where this stuff lands. You got to remember, and I'm not saying this to be pessimistic, but we are on our own. If you're thinking about the self-determination of you and your family and the agency of you and your family, these are the tools that can be helpful regardless of where we land on this stuff. Never give up on that policy fight. But hopefully this video was a little bit helpful. Um, and when you hear these terms, they're not as scary. And let me know in the comments. Let me know if you got questions or if there's something else that you kind of want broken down that's directly meant for our people. Because, and when I say our people, this is not a topic that's happening in my barbershop. This is not a topic that's happening in my neighborhood or in my community with the black folks and the brown folks that I deal with constantly that just care about their kids and want them to get the best education. There you have it. And I'll see you on the other side of it. Peace.